Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your uh, fortnightly reading for December the 16th through to the 31st. So going up to the end of the year, moving from Saggy season through to Capricorn, we've got some big intense energies and we do have the significant energy of December the 21st, which is being termed the age of Aquarius, which is Saturn and Jupiter have entered Aquarius by now, by that time. I think Saturn goes around on the 17th, lands on the 17th and Jupiter enters on the 20th. So, and the 21st is also a solstice. So it's a huge day happening. So I think it will be nice also to say goodbye to 2020. It's been a really challenging year for a lot of us. So all right, let's see what we can get. So this is a general reading, Pisces. Just take what feels right and leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there is an extended reading. The link is in the description box below. I'd love it if you come over there because we will take a look at the future beyond and get more information for you. So we have the Five of Wands crossed by the Ace of Swords, the Fool, and at the base, the Strength card. In the recent past, the Ten of Wands... In the near future, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, the King of Cups, the Nine of Wands and the Star card. Oh, my goodness. And I just need another card for that, the King of Swords. And at the base of the reading, the Three of Swords. Okay, so that it makes a lot of sense that there's some challenges coming up in this reading for you, Pisces. But I feel like you're going to overcome it and with flying colours. So there is a sense that there's a very intense set of energies coming through for you and it's like um, just need to go through a passage of fire almost to get to the other side. But when you get to the other side, it's like you you end up in heaven. So it's, um, yeah, it's intense. Oh, gosh, hold on, Pisces. Whoa, speaking of which, the wind has gone. No, I'm jumbling all this up. Hold on, Pisces. Let's get you back. Let's get you back, shall we? Let's get Pisces back in order. There's a cow moving in the background. It's all gone crazy. Okay, let's see. What have we got? The King of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands was the recent past, and we have the Star. Okay, let's make sure we have everything. That looks about right. Whew, some craziness. Okay, so let's get you back on track, shall we, Pisces? Quite literally, quite literally in this reading because, yes, I do I do get that this could be a test, but there's also like a graduation coming up at the end of it. Let's see what we have for you. We have the elephant. There's a passage of time coming through and there is a sense of, there's some, like an occasion, a ritual, a festival, but there is a, some sort of, um, like I said, test or graduation ceremony you need to go through in order to pass and get through this. So it's quite an intense and interesting time. So I'm going to put these here and try and keep everything down. Okay, so let's look at an animal spirit energy. I might have to shut some of these windows it's getting a bit breezy here. So let's get an animal spirit energy for you. Well, we're holding the fort, quite literally. Animal spirit energy for Pisces. But it's all good. Oh, look, golden egg. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. There is something amazing, amazing birthing here, but it's just like you have to go down the birth canal to come out and get to this, get to the golden egg. So, I mean, you've got the full, you've got the star card, you've got all these really amazing cards. It's leading to an amazing place. It's just the journey, the passage to get there is going to be interesting. Okay, but let's, we'll get some more information the more we get into this. So let's, and it might not actually be as bad as it seems. They're just saying now with that three of swords, they're saying this is a wound that has come up to be seen, to be acknowledged and to be healed and actually to see where you're, where it has healed, where parts of you have already healed. So 
Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's pull a card for from the fairies. So even though that three of swords there does look, um, it can look, you know, like a not very nice energy. It's actually saying, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be okay. Okay. I think it's presenting, I feel like it's presenting something to you on a platter and saying this is your wound, this is where you've healed. And so, which is kind of um, part of the graduation ceremony, if this makes any sense at all. Now we have the green woman. We'll try and make more sense of this throughout the reading, Pisces. So we've got the green woman coming out and it's actually interesting. I love her because she's just like... There's this rebellious little streak coming through uh, where it's just like, it's kind of like just saying, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And that's the word. I don't normally say it, but that's the word that came out. It's like just going, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do it. Damn it. I'm doing it. So she kind of sticks a tongue out at the naysayers, at the fears, at the doubts and says, I'm going for this. So there's a real sense of, um, yeah, just just throwing caution to the wind and just going, you know what, quite literally the wind, you know what, um, I'm just going to do this. I, I just have to do it. So it's like taking a leap. I feel like there's a taking a leap happening here. Now we have as a situation the five of wands crossed by the ace of swords. So there's a conflict here, but you're wanting clarity. And in fact, the clarity is there. The clar ace of swords in this case, in this position, is actually helping the situation. And it could be that a truth has arisen a higher truth even, but there's truth that's come out of chaos. <laughs> there is a truth that's come out uh, around a conflict, I would say, and it's kind of had this effect to propel you. So I think that um, something becomes so clear, Pisces, that it's kind of like you feel like at this moment in time you've got nothing to lose. And it's like, you know what? And again, I just keep getting the word. The words, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just doing it. So, and this is, you know, the fool. This is their conscious mind. This is what might appear right in front of you. You're standing on the precipice. You're standing on the edge of the cliff. You're seeing this newness. It's stepping out into the unknown, but it's stepping into this new. But it's like you don't even know where you're going maybe even for some of you, for some of you, you do, but for I'm getting so much with your sign with you guys that it's like more about the act of just taking that leap of faith and leaving behind this, the conflict, this, whatever this five of wands represents in your life. It's more about the act of defiance and rebellion and free spirit and liberation is probably a better word and just going, you know what? I'm doing what's right for me and I'm taking this leap. I'm taking this chance. I'm taking a chance on me. I don't know where I'm going to land, but I just know I have to do it. And so, yeah, it's actually by doing that, you find yourself, there's this real um, sense of excitement, almost exhilaration of, yeah, finally I've kind of, taken off the shackles, given myself permission to do something that perhaps I should have done or could have done or wanted to do a long time ago and I've never actually kind of given myself permission. But now I see very clearly that I just just have to do it. So at the base of the reading we have the strength card and this is what's happening deep down and this is the courage required to take this leap. You have it in spades you've got it in leaps and bounds quite literally ready to leap off and this is saying you've got this resilience you've got this you've actually got this Pisces and so there is this sense of yes you do need to be very brave but you know I think that that's exactly what's been summoned deep down and this is what's the recent past the ten of wands and this is why it makes so sense i mean i feel really excited by this for you pisces um 
stepping into this amazing just sense of adventure as well. Uh, this is what you're leaving, the Ten of Wands. It's the burden. It's things have just, it's just reached a point where it's just gone, this is too much, this is too hard, I'm not doing this anymore. And that's where that clarity came in. And this has been like a burden, something that has been weighing down upon you for such a long time. And finally you're releasing yourself. And when you're releasing, oh, my gosh, how light do you feel? How free do you feel? Now, in the near future, <laughs> sometimes when you do take these leaps of faith, faith, you're kind of like, oh, my God, what am I doing? Um, just having a minor freak out for the moment. But this is what the Nine of Swords is. It can be keeping you awake at night. You could be having some really intense dreams. The Nine of Swords also means there's nothing to fear. And the fact it's sitting next to, right next to that King of Swords, this is like the two sides are very determined, resolute, I've made my decision. And then the other side is, oh, my God, what have I done? But it's actually pretty normal to have this reaction after doing something like this. Uh it's actually, it's kind of actually good in a way, but it's important to know that that nine of swords is really just an unreal fear. It's just uh, freaking out about the um, the change, really, freaking out about change. Um, now, freaking out might be not the right word for you. It might be that you are just suddenly going, oh, gosh, Um just worrying, a little bit of anxiety. It can be varying degrees, but the fact that you're sitting next to that King of Swords, it's like there's that's the calming influence. That's the rational influence going, you know what, you had to do this, it's going to be okay. So it will be like you'll almost be in two minds there with that. But, um, you know, I think it's all good. I think it's really natural reaction if this is how you're feeling. But that King of Swords just sorts out that Nine of Swords and goes, come on. Come on, you know that isn't really true. So this is how you're presenting. And I'm kind of getting the words convergence. It's like everything converged to a point and it just you just went boom. I'm 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 out of here. I'm doing this now. So the four of wands, this is you. You're presenting as the four of wands. This is, you know, houses often represent your sense of self, and this is bringing so much happiness, so much unity. Within yourself, there's a sense of celebration, the sense of finally um, some very strong foundations as to this is actually really what you want to be doing and what you really want. And you're creating a foundation for your life that you can step into 2021 something. So this is foundational, what you're doing now and how you're presenting the 1111, it's like a, ma a master number. It's like it will become almost apparent to you or if it doesn't, you have reached a level of mastery. And so by releasing that cycle quite, I feel like you just drop something like a hot potato and go, no more. By releasing that, you've kind of learned everything that you need from that, from that, um, whether it's a job, a relationship, a uh, place that you're living, or it could be anything, you know, really. Um, but this is a really, really positive card. It's a very strong foundation. There's a lot of stability. There's a lot of synchronicity. And again, there's the, it's the master number. So you have attained a level of mastery in your life. So the energy surrounding you, we have the King of Cups. And this is, you know, I feel like there could be a lot of drama. I mean, look at you. There's you, there's your little fishy swimming in the sea, jumping around amidst the chaos, just going, wee, this is fun. While other people might be going, oh my gosh, this is so intense. I can't cope with this. I can't deal with this. And you're riding the wave quite literally, riding the wave. And this could be, you know, the wave of the age of Aquarius, but it's just this wa wave of exhilaration of stepping into this unknown. And the King of Cups, you know, this is your fellow sign. This could be Pisces and this could actually be you or it can also be Scorpio or Cancer. But and a fellow uh, the water sign is what I'm trying to say. But it's actually a mastery of emotions, finding a stability among, amongst chaos. So not letting 
the emotions get the better of you the other way around. So we have the nine of wands here. This is the hopes and fears. And this is really quite literally not wanting to go backwards again, not wanting to go back there, really wanting something to finish. And it has. But this is what I love so much. This is where we get to the beautiful part. As an outcome, we have the star. And the star is the energy that is the card of Aquarius in the tarot. So I feel very much like you just step straight into the age of Aquarius. You step into this energy. This is wishes coming true. This is divine energy, hopes restored, being very highly divinely guided, replenishment of the soul. It's an absolutely, I just get this energy of you walking through a gateway of light beautiful high vibrational light and there's an ecstasy that comes with this so it's absolutely really really beautiful so this is a great time to decide what you want to bring into 2021 even the rest of your life what dreams you want to see manifest what you really really want and desire and hope for and so this is just such a special time and it's, I feel like there's just this blast of very high vibrational white or golden energy coming through and it's just like, whoa, what did I just step into? This is amazing. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy and very much connected to that Aquarian energy that's coming through. I think you're going to feel really good. It's going to really connect with you straight away. Once you go, once you step into it, once you just go, okay, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm stepping into this new. And this is what we have. This is a cosmic egg. I mean, this is a cosmic card, this circle up here. It's the golden egg. And, you know, it's a new, a golden era, a new age for you. Something really amazing is birthing and it's something that has been protected and nestled and looked after. And it's the birth of something really amazing and new for you, Pisces. So it's so exciting really excited like there's this excitement in the air so that's really great and so we have this um you know the three of swords has come up as at the bottom of the deck and this is to remind you like I said it's just saying it's healing a wound basically there's deep healing here of something it's becoming aware that something healed and you may not have even noticed so yeah, it's really, really powerful, powerful message coming through here. I feel like this is associated with the past and this is something that has been let go of. As soon as you walk through that portal, that gateway to here, it's like that's just gone, doesn't exist anymore. So, yeah, it's really beautiful energy for you, Pisces. It's exciting. So this is where I'm going to leave the YouTube reading and I'm going to take it over to the Vimeo Deep Read now and we're going to look at the future beyond. Maybe we might get some more information about that golden egg birthing and we're going to take get some more information coming through, some more messages from the fairies. So I'd love it if you come over. Yours is oh, it's so exciting, your reading. I love it. So um, the link is in the description box below and I usually pin a comment, so just click on that. But if this is where we're leaving each other, I think this is going to be a really amazing time. It might be an intense passage to do to get to it a moment of intensity but I feel like once you step through that door and make that decision and go for it it's just going to feel amazing so thank you so much for joining me Pisces uh, if you enjoyed this reading please like subscribe and leave a comment and please take care and I should also say Merry Christmas to all of those that celebrate Christmas and Happy New Year I look forward to seeing you in 2021 if not before bye